Greetings, Toiletarians. I'm your host, Toilet Terry, and you guys are all watching Toilet Talk with Terry. That's me, obviously. The discussion topic for this episode is dreaming. Let's face it, we all dream when we go to sleep at night, good and bad. We all have seen when it comes to dreams, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I would say that I personally have seen more of the bad and the ugly than I have of the good, unfortunately. I remember this one dream I had where a friend of mine and I were hunting in the woods, but it was like, it was dark. The only light we had to guide us was a full moon. Suddenly my friend collapses and so I whip out my phone and call the emergency services and I say to the operator, oh my gosh, I, I think my friend is dead. He doesn't seem to be breathing and his eyes are red. I think he's dead. Relax, the operator said to me. I can help. First, let's make sure he's dead. Then there was silence. A shot was heard. <sighs> I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I remember also having this other dream where, not in real life, but in the dream, my grandpa, who lives far away from us in an apartment complex for seniors, in this dream he owned, he had his own house. And in the backyard, on the deck, there were like rows of dead squirrels. And I'm like, what is this? What is this? And then he approaches the site with another dead squirrel in his hand. And he says, another sacrifice, Lord. <laughs> I'm like, what? Why, why are you sacrifice? I don't understand. Oh boy. I also <laughs> had this other funny dream where, <laughs> don't even ask me how or why, I was in front of a, I think it was a first grade class or a fifth grade class. I don't remember. I was teaching kids about evolution. In real life, I don't know the first thing about evolution because we learn about creation as Christians. So just like in real life, in the dream, I did not know the first thing about what I was supposed to teach these kids. So I made something up. I was like, all right, class, I'm going to explain from beginning to end evolution, okay? Okay, don't screw it up. Don't screw this up, toilet. <laughs> okay, kids, so let's say there's, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And then uh, something farts. And then the whole classroom full of kids just busted out laughing. Ha, 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 ha. The teacher just said the word fart, and I'm like, oh, come on. Come on, kids, grow up. <laughs> Reminds me of this other dream that I had where all of our family, all of our family was seated in the grand room. We were kind of seated in a circle, as a matter of fact. Suddenly, someone in the circle, we didn't know who or whoever it was, they were trying to hide it, let lets out a big fart. Everyone hears it. And so first, dad blames it on me. He's like, John. <laughs> and then I blame it on my little sister, Annabelle. <laughs> and then Annabelle's like, mom. <laughs> and mom was like, Chester. <laughs> Chester was our dog, by the way. And then Chester was like, Nana. <laughs> and Nana was like, dad. <laughs> And then my dad was like, ah, dang it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Question. Have you ever, have any of you ever had a dream where you went out in public, but you forgot to put clothes on and you were butt naked? Either you were butt naked or you just had on your underwear and your socks and that was it. I know I have numerous times. For example, this one dream that I had, I had nothing on. 
I was like John, John the Leprechaun, went to school with nothing on. Except I didn't go to school. That's not where I went. I went to Burger King. I, I entered Burger King in nothing but my undies and socks, I think, from what I remember. And they wouldn't serve me. So <laughs> I don't know what I did after that because right then I just woke up from the dream. You should have seen me when I woke up from that dream. I was like, thank God. Thank God that wasn't real. I should have known firsthand, though, that it wasn't real and then woken up. Oh, look how much that costed me. It, it wasn't real. Just forget about it. Anywho, another question. Have any of you ever had medical dreams? I know I have. I had one dream about having strep throat, one about having a stomach virus, and believe it or not, I had a dream about having cancer as well. Needless to say, I am glad that all three of them, of them were just dreams. Then there's the tough ones, nightmares. I had a ton of nightmares when I was a kid that were so scary that by the time I woke up from it, I was too scared to sleep in bed in my room alone, and I would go to my parents' room and say, I had a nightmare. Can I sleep in your bed? When I was younger, they were like, oh, sure. But as I got older, after I got older, they were like, no. Are you kidding me? You're like 12 now. Go back to bed. I remember this one particular nightmare that I had one time in which my parents told me before they put me to bed, or right when they put me to bed, no donuts until tomorrow morning for breakfast. And you stay in bed, young mister. I was like, y yes ma'am, yes sir. <laughs> and then I had a dream. I didn't think it was a dream at first because, so I lay down in my bed in real life, my head hits the pillow, I fall asleep. And then in the dream, I open my eyes take my head off the pillow, and then get out of bed. I think that I just got out of bed, but no, I am still in the bed, my head on the pillow, dreaming about this. I actually snuck downstairs in the dream and took one donut out of the box. And on my way upstairs, I was eating it, and then I got cornered by this devilish creature, dark and scary. His voice was terrifying. He was like, who, who told you that you could eat donuts at midnight? Did anyone tell you that? Oh, and did anyone tell you you were allowed to get out of that bed? I was like, uh, no. And he was like, well, then you should be in that bed and you shouldn't have a donut in your hand. And so I ran. I ran back to my bedroom and then I look behind me and the creature is no longer there. So I bounce back into bed. I put the sheets over my head in case the creature enters my room because I do not want to see him. And I don't want him to get to me because he is so scary. Then I woke up from the dream. And I didn't realize it was a dream until the next day when I was telling mom and dad about it. I thought it was real. And so I was like, Mom, Dad, I did something last night. Uh, I got up and snuck downstairs and took a donut. I'm sorry. And so then I, I go to open the box to prove that there is one missing and none of them are missing. There's still a dozen in the box. I'm like, what? There's still a dozen? I ate one. And then Mom and Dad both crack up laughing. And they're like, um... That was probably just a dream. And I was like, really? Oh, so <laughs> it wasn't real. It was just a nightmare. Nightmares are the worst kind, but the best kind, the best of the best is lucid dreaming. That is dreaming in which you can control your dream. You realize that you're dreaming and you don't want to get out of the dream because you know you can you can control anything around you. I remember this one time. I was in like the eighth grade. I had a crush on a girl at school, but she didn't feel the same about me. 
even though I really wanted her to, that one night I just start lucid dreaming and I'm like, wow, I can control my surroundings. I snap my fingers and that girl appears right in front of me. <laughs> and so I walk up to her and I say to her, honey, if you love me, you will kiss me. <laughs> right about now. I snapped and then she laid one right on me. And then I was like, you wanna go for a walk? And she's like, uh, no, sorry, I have homework. And then she walks the other way. I'm just wandering around aimlessly in this environment that I don't know what it is, I don't know what it's about. And I'm like, okay, so what else can I control? Hmm, wait a minute, can I do a backflip? I couldn't do backflips in real life, I really can't, but could I do it in my dream? I attempt a backflip and I actually succeed in the dream. But the second time I do it in the dream, I fall on my butt and that did just enough to wake me up from the dream. And I was like, oh, dang it. That was, that was so much fun. But anyway, yeah, all that to say, the moral of this episode is some dreams have meaning and some dreams don't. If you don't wake up from a dream, a changed person, that dream has no meaning. And that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this discussion, this episode, this video. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more upcoming content, which will be amazing. You won't want to miss it. <laughs> all right. Keep it real. Peace out. Hold up.